In this video, we will discuss the importance of a contrasted MRI in the diagnosis of leptomeningeal disease. If you need more information on the basics of what leptomeningeal disease is, please see our basics video, which is linked in the description box below. Information provided on this channel is not intended to be medical advice. You should seek direction from a qualified medical professional. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It's a test that uses powerful magnets, radio waves, and a computer to make detailed pictures of the inside of your body. The body gives off a type of signal which the MRI can detect, and then produces an image from those signals. Contrasted MRIs use a contrast dye, usually gadolinium, injected into a vein to enhance the images further to see more detail. There are several types of MRI machines. An example of the type of machine normally used for the brain is shown here. It is also important to know the strength of the MRI machine being used. Most commonly, facilities will use a 1.5 or 3T MRI. T stands for Tesla, which is a unit of measurement related to magnetic fields. The 3T is twice as powerful and can produce images with greater detail. However, some people with certain implants may not be able to use the higher strength MRI. Links below this video will further explain the specifics of MRI machine strengths and the pros and cons of 1.5T and 3T MRIs. Since LMD is often a thin glazing of cells in the cerebral spinal fluid, or can sometimes form thickenings of cells, the more powerful MRI may be able to detect LMD sooner. An MRI with contrast is important for an LMD diagnosis because it enhances and improves the quality of the MRI images of your brain or spine. This allows the radiologist to more accurately report on how your body is working and whether there is any disease or abnormality present. Since LMD often is a thin layer of cells, the contrast enhances the images of this thin layer, making LMD easier to detect. As noted in the eMedicine article linked in the description box below, Non-contrast MRI has proven of little use in detecting leptomeningeal disease and should be avoided in these patients. CT as well can easily miss disease, and normal contrast-enhanced CT scans does not exclude the presence of leptomeningeal tumor. The ordering physician must be aware that a normal MRI or CT does not exclude LC and that the combination of contrast MRI and serial lumbar punctures has the best diagnostic potential. These brain images show enhancement in the ventricles and some areas of the meninges of the brain when contrast was used. The following are a different view of the spine with and without contrast. You should be aware, in very rare instances, people can be allergic or have an adverse reaction to the contrast agent. If you are allergic to gadolinium, there are some other contrast agents that have been used. Discuss any questions regarding your MRI with your doctor. This video is intended to provide you with knowledge so you may ask questions of your oncologist as soon as possible in order to accurately diagnose or rule out if LMD is present. Below this video are several articles which outline the necessity of contrasted MRI for LMD, the pros and cons of a contrasted MRI, and different machine strengths. Thank you so much for watching.